Meeting is being live streamed. Word of the Land Ministries welcomes you to Sunday message. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I appreciate those that are on there. Amen. Leadership. Amen. Glory to God. In the name and authority of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And all those that are visiting us for the very first time are those who have been watching us and from here and there. Amen. Here and far. Amen. Glory to God. We we thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. In your perspective God, places. God. I thank yeah. God for the people of God. I thank God for the ones who are moving. I thank God for who is and whose God has moved in our area and our lives. Amen. Glory to God. How many of y'all excited this morning? Because I don't know. I'm just talking about myself. I got I, I'm trying to Amen. I'm trying to maintain, but I can't do it. I feel a refreshing coming on. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to, to the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, y'all. Let us go ahead and, and, and do the things that we're getting ready to do. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning to each and every one of you. Amen. Glory to God. Evangelist Lady Sunshine, I want to just let you know ahead of time, I'm just talking to the people, Sunday school staff, I've got to meet with y'all after service, y'all. Amen. amen. Glory to God. Amen. But um, besides that, amen, if we would do a little lifting up of the top Amen. Glory to God. We will be all right. Let's lay our hands and Amen. start to pray. Evangelist, can you give me some prayer? Amen. Glory to God. Woo Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. You pray Glory. for us. Amen. Let us know. God, I feel the anointing of God, but I, I need some I need some prayer coming on. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Everything Thank is in a perfect place to be. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. God is just that good. Amen. Amen. To the name and authority of Jesus. Amen. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, glory we thank God. you. We give Evangelist, you Evangelist Outlaw, would you would you pray? Would you pray for us? Amen. Glory to Amen. God this morning. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. I just want to say good morning to Evangelist Lady Sunshine. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you to Deacon and Sanita, to our pastor, to Deacon Steve, and to our visitors. Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you. Lord, if we have done, said, thought, or even dreamt of anything that was not in your sight or at the beginning of the loveliness that you have bestowed on us, please forgive us at this time. Lord, we're asking that you continue to give us praise and honor and glory as we get ready to go into our Sunday service. Lord, be with us even as we take communion this first Sunday, Lord. This is our first Sunday of a new beginning of a new yes. month of September. Yes. Lord, you know, we appreciate all that you have done for us through the summer. Now we're getting ready to go into this beautiful fall, Lord. We ask that you continue to brighten us, lift us, give us strength, give us the courage, Lord. Let us continue to have a loving, respectful spirit as leadership of Word of the Lamb Ministries. Lord, we just thank you for all that you're about to do, that you're going to do. Lord, we ask that you continue to bless our pastor as he goes forth to give us this word. Lord, you know that we are a teaching church, a learning church. Lord, we ask that you continue to strengthen all of us up as we as we go and move and provide for each other, just not for our ministry, but for our own individual communities and our own individual states and countries. Lord, we thank you for all that you will do, continue to do. Lord, we ask that you bless this service. Yes, God. Bless all that will participate in communion. Bless all that will participate in Sunday school meeting and any other meetings that are taking place today. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we ask that you continue to watch over all of our families near and far. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. And Lord, amen. continue to bless our little lambs. We love them so much. Amen. 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 Amen, amen. amen. evangelist Lady Sunshine. Amen. Glory to God. Tell, tell everybody what's going on today. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Good day, good day, good day. Family, friends, and first-time visitors, we welcome you to Word of the Lamb Worldwide Ministries. We are the official church without balls. Feeding your faith and doubt will starve. 
keeping your faith in that well star. We have many services and for all of our information with the details and conference lines and the codes, you can let your fingers do the walking this morning and all week long. Go to www.wordofthelamb.org. That is wordofthelamb.org where you will find Monday we have Bible study at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with our own Elder John L. On Tuesdays and Thursdays on the prayer line where we will pray for you and with you. And that is also at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on every other Wednesday, we have our fun, fantastic fellowship time with the book club for the book that we're reading and the times and dates that we are meeting together to fellowship and discuss the book. Again, visit our webpage at wordofthelamb.org and you will find all of the information there. Every Friday, we have Friday Encouraging Word, where many times you we will have guest speakers, preachers, it might be you. We have Bible trivia, Bible games, poetry night, a whole host of many surprises on Friday Encouraging Word at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You never know what's going to happen on Friday Encouraging Word, but you're always guaranteed a good time in God. So come on out and don't be a part of the I Should Have Been There Club. Also, every first Saturday, which is excitingly next Saturday, put that on your calendar, share it with a friend on Facebook and your favorite social media. First Fruit Saturday is prayer between the hours of 12 noon and 1 p.m. I was so excited I called in yesterday. <laughs> and realize it is next Saturday. That's how wonderful <laughs> prayer is. Amen. And I Amen. just didn't want to miss it. So that's how you know that the word of God and everything that has to do with God is exciting. It's fun and fantastic. He always has a bunch of surprises on a daily basis and he will blow your mind. So next Saturday, put it on your calendar. Somebody share it right there, right now. On Facebook, Saturday, first fruit prayer, giving God the first fruit of all that we have that belong to him. It is starts at 12 o'clock and ends at 1 p.m. All are welcome to come. And every Sunday, you guessed it, right here, live on Facebook, YouTube, Zoom, and all of your favorite social media Sunday message with our own beloved Pastor Brian Bryant bringing the word of God to the people of God for such a time as this. And also that is at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we focus on Eastern Standard Time because we have many listeners, not only across the United States, but we have listeners across the globe. So we want them to know when we're live so they can come and join us in their time zone. Also share this with a friend, the best gift, you can give someone is the gift that keeps on giving and that's Jesus Christ. So share with a friend, let them know when you're on and that way they can also glean and get the word of God and apply it in their lives because Jesus makes all the difference. Also at this time, we will also like to let you know that we have at 10 a.m. Little Lambs Church for Boys and Girls. And yes, they are our littlest treasures. And that is at 10 a.m. We do not live broadcast the Little Lambs, but they get to see one another. And we have a blast because so much wisdom will come out of these Little Lambs. Why don't you consider bringing your Little Lamb to learn about the Great Lamb of God? That is Little Lambs Church for Boys and Girls at 10 a.m. every Sunday. And so also we would like to take this opportunity to let you know that we have Unity Prayer Monday through Friday, three times daily. We have 6 a.m., 12 noon, or better known as Noonday Prayer. And we also have 6 p.m. So you can pick a time and you can be in your Jesus zone, just you and him. And at this time, we would like to thank all of our partners and all of you who give generously to the ministry. And you help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout all the four corners of the world. And we just want to let you know that one man can make a difference. Jesus did. And we thank you. And for those that who would like to partner with us and sow a seed on good ground to continue these 
live services all over globally that we can continue to reach people. You could do so right on your screen. We have, for those who are techie savvy, we have a QR code that you can use to donate to our nonprofit tax deductible organization. Also, for those who enjoy texting, we have a text to give, and that's a two-step process. And let us know on Facebook how that two-step process went for you. And my favorite link, the Giveify link. That link will lead you to a couple of envelopes within that link where you can give to different things that we're doing in the ministry. For example, many of you use the link to do the book bag and donate toward the book bag drive. And because of you, we were able to do three big communities. So we want to thank you in advance. And uh, you can see that. That's the Giveify link. Also, if you would like to mail in your donation, you can do so at P.O. Box 320391, Hartford, Connecticut, 06132. P.O. Box 320391, Hartford, Connecticut, 06132. We also have on our landing page at the bottom of the page, a donate button where it will lead you straight to our PayPal link. Also, if you have questions about membership, you have questions about the Bible and God is knocking on the door of your heart, feel free to send us an email at wordofthelamb at outlook.com. Please include your phone number so that we can get in touch with you expeditiously. And if you want to know about any other questions you may have, please send us an email with your number and our beloved pastor will get right in touch with you. Again, feel free to do so. And at the end of services, you can come on to our line live on Zoom if you would like to request prayer or you have someone you would like to request prayer for. And that number will be posted. But for those of you who are ready right now, that number in advance is 320-202-1110. The code is 940792. And that will be posted on Facebook for all of you to see. So we want to thank you for your generous giving right now. And we bless you in Jesus' name and thank you for all of the things that you do on a daily basis. God bless each and every one of you. Gracias y bienvenidos a todos. Que Dios los bendiga y gracias por todas sus oraciones. Y ahora vamos a estar con la palabra con nuestro pastor Brian, dando la palabra de Dios. Ahí en nuestra página encontrarán toda la información de nuestros servicios que ustedes pueden llamar y estar en vivo. Tenemos oración, estudios bíblicos y muchísimas cosas más. Que Dios los bendiga y ahora les vamos a dar nuestro pastor. Thank you and God bless you. We turn these services over to our own beloved Pastor Brian Brain. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Evangelist. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mute. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you all. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor, for being me. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I I I I, I was oh my God. How can I say this? I was getting ready to get into my sermon, which I do have for you, Amen. And I know that God will get it, but I have to I have to do this. I have to say to you. I was just for somebody, amen. I was just listening. I was just listening. Let not your heart be troubled. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let not your heart be troubled. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. I don't know what you might be going through right now, but let not your heart be troubled. Oh, I know that the Lord God is is with you and he's overflowing in you and he's being around you and just because of everything else it's going to be all right because God said that he will never leave you or forsake you amen glory to God let not your heart be troubled oh um giving honor to God and Jesus Christ who is truly the head of my life amen to all of the XMs, meaning Christians, to all of the apostles and 
pastors and teachers and healers and preachers to every individual wherever they are in the body of Christ. Amen. We're all important in the body. Amen. I sit today before you to expound and share with you the Rama or the Logo, meaning the written and spoken word of God. I came in this morning, amen, already feeling like I've been in a good spot because I got up this morning and I felt like I was brand new. Oh, I got up this morning with a thought that I was a little bit more than brand new, like I had been restored. And when I got up this morning, amen, I realized that the word that I had written that it was given to me, amen, was what exactly I'm going through. And my word for you today is resurrect, excuse me, restoration is coming. Restoration is coming. I need you to put that in your head, Simon. Uh, I, 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 I got to, I got to talk. I'm, 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 I, I was going to drive the car kind of slow, uh, uh, Evangelist Outlaw, but I think I got to drive it a little faster today, man. Glory to God. The resurrection okay. is, is something that, that God was building in me for my restoring of the things that he have. So my restoration is coming. Amen. Glory to God. And I, I realize sometimes you got to put that into the atmosphere. We always put some things negatively in the atmosphere. We always put some stuff that is not going right in the atmosphere. But sometimes we got to put in the things that are into the atmosphere. So I, I, I did some stuff, mm -hmm. y'all. God bless you. Sister Gwen is on Facebook. I know I got to preach this morning at uh, uh, Pastor... Uh, Latina is on, on the line, amen. amen. Glory to God, hallelujah. I know that, that between all the rest of us in there, we've got big backup today, amen. Glory to God, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I, I went to Webster, you know, I like to go there, you know. I love the Webster Dictionary, amen. Glory to God. And I, Webster Dictionary tells us that... Uh, uh, the word restoration means an act of restoring or the condition of being restored. Oh, I I just want to let you know that uh, restor your resur restoration is coming. You're being restored in a certain way. Some of us, uh, we look as, look like we're getting more broken mm -hmm, mm. than we ever were. Come on, y'all. You're going through some storms right now that is breaking some stuff up. We're back, barely holding on. I might not be talking about you. I'm just talking about me. And it seems as if nothing can pull or repair us for all that we're going through. Sometimes we feel as though we're the last nail holding on, but barely holding. Sometimes it feels as though even though you're going through some things and the storm might seem like it's getting ready to phase and then the next thing you know, here comes something to try to knock you down a little bit further. Um, we've been waiting for a restoration and while we're waiting, the Lord is working on us to get prepared for our restoration. See, I remember what the Bible tells us. Hey, man, I'm reading from the English Standard Version today. In Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, the 17th verse. Amen. For the Bible says this in that section. It says, for I will restore health to you i'm speaking to somebody because somebody today needs to have the understanding that their restoration is coming but god's speaking health to them 
right now. Some of us might be feeling sick and never say anything to anybody. Some of us might be going through some things physically, mentally, or spiritually. Amen. Glory to God. And not saying anything to anybody. But I'm here to let you know that I, God said, this is God speaking, for I will restore health to you and your wounds I will heal. Oh, sometimes it's not on the outside that makes the wounds, amen. Sometimes mm -hmm. the wounds are on the inside. Some of us, amen, are do a good job of covering up, amen. We have mm -hmm. a smile on our face, but despair in our heart, amen. Where mm -hmm. would you go? We could sit there and smile and, and say we all right, but in the inside, we not. Amen. Glory to God. We're feeling a little low. We're feeling a little, little let down. We're feeling like no one else can help us. Amen. Sometimes it feels like depression. Amen. Glory to God. But God is restoring you because he said that I will restore your health and your wounds and I will heal, declares the Lord, because you have called, they have called you an outcast. Mm. Oh, come on. Some of us on the line have been looked at a little differently. Some of us have came out there and shook your head. Some of us have been told that we might not have turned out to be anything. We might not even be any good. Some of us said, I don't know why you're wasting your time with that person because that person right there ain't going to be able to be nothing. Some of us have told, been told in our lifetime that we will never amount to anything. The devil is a liar. Amen. Well, I'm going to talk with you just a little bit. Come on, we're going to go back a little bit more. It says, it is Zion for whom no one cares. But we know that God cares. He cares so much that he sent his only begotten son. <laughs> he who would ever believe in him would have everlasting life. Come on, I want to let you know that you're restoration is coming and uh i need you to get an understanding of some things turn uh for some of you uh if you can follow me amen i'm just going through here but i'm i'm just letting you know you can write them down and look at them later if you need to i'm mm -hmm. psalms 150 or the 51st division of psalms depending on how you were taught amen verse 12 english stand standard version Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes when you're in the midst of some stuff, and sometimes when you're in the midst of some things, you need a word that's going to help you. You need something that's going to strengthen you. You say that my resurrection is, is through Jesus Christ, but you say my, my restoring is because of him. Amen. Glory to God. But I got to reach out. So I call upon things like in Psalms 51, and it says, restore to me the joy of my salvation. Uphold me with a willing spirit. Restoration is coming. Are you in position to receive it? Restoration is coming. Are you in position to receive it? I know you already been restored from the issues you had. Are you ready to exercise your faith? Oh, for some of y'all, I, I need to bring it down and bring it down just a little bit more for you. Jesus said this, will thou be made whole? Oh, I must be talking to somebody on the other side, so I'm going to turn over here. Will thou be made whole? Or maybe maybe I need to talk to the other side because it seemed like maybe they don't understand this either. But will thou be made whole? Jesus is asking you, are you ready for being restored. So if you're ready for that re restoring, that restoration to come, 
you have to put yourself in position for it. Which means that I got to open up some areas that I sometimes have closed off because it hurt too much. Mm -hmm. But one times when we close some stuff off, we close some stuff in. And we got to open up the door because that little seed is still hanging. That root is still trying to manifest itself. And we allow the Lord to get in and let him be the one who takes the roots away. The seeds of doubt, the seeds of discord, the seeds of anger. In order to be restored, sometimes we have to be pushed to the bottom level. We Sometimes we have to be scraped. Glory to God. Come on and stay with me, y'all. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, but seek First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Oh, come on. I want to talk to you just a little bit to say to you, uh, you're trying to be restored and you're looking for restoration. But um, unless you're going to put God first, amen, all the other things can't really come on to you. You're going to have to put him first and you're going to have to get yourself out the way and you're going to have to say, I trust you, Lord, even in the parts that makes me scared. You know that area where it gets you nervous just to say, I'm going to give it to him and trust him because I don't even know where it's going to take me. That spot that even might keep you up at night, that stuff that might keep you from doing some things. In order to be restored, you got to sometimes let some stuff go. We've been picked on, tried it on. Some of us right now, we can shake that off. But the one or two things that we find it hard to shake off is our own guiltiness. Our own selves talking to ourselves, telling us about ourselves. Restoration is coming to you. I need you to put it in your thoughts and I need you to speak it into reality. Oh, I don't know how you do it. I, hey man, for some of you, 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 you say it out loud. For some of you, you're thinking it right now. For some of you, you want to shout it, amen. For some things, you have to say to it, amen. For some of us, we got to say, my restoration is coming, and it's coming right now. I'm tired of being in the spot where the evil one are trying to tell you that it ain't happening. Mm -hmm. Those days are over. We're in the area where we have to stand strong in. Mm -hmm. We're in an area where we have to be better than. We're in an area where we have to put our faith into some things. And yes, sometimes it doesn't come out the way we want it to. But remember, we're just part of the puzzle. Hey man, we're just part of the plan mm -hmm. of God's plan. Come on, somebody say something to me. Somebody Amen. say bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Somebody Amen. say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody pray for me. Amen. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles with you, let's turn to the book of Psalms, the 40th chapter. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you got there, somebody say amen. Amen. Glory to the name amen. of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Come on. Amen. Talk with me now. We're going to go do some walking right here. Amen. 
Glory Amen. to God. Amen. It says, I waited patiently mm -hmm. for the Lord. How good is your patience? Mm -hmm. You want to be restored. You're looking for restoration, but how good is your patience? Because it's not coming in the way that you want to. It's not coming as fast as you would like it to. It's not coming in the way that it is. And every word and everything I see around me seems like it's falling. Mm -hmm. How good is your patience? Said so I wait patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me the, and heard my cry. Amen. I heard he heard you when you was crying. He heard you when you were speaking. He heard you when you were calling on him. I need you to go back a little bit. I don't need you to think about the things that you're going through right now. I need you to go back a little bit. Just, just a little bit. I need you just to just to look back. I'm not telling you to drive backwards. I'm just telling you to turn around and take a look backwards. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just think about it. Amen. In your mindset of where you were and where God has brought you at now. And then I want you to read those sentences again. I'm going to read this sentence again and add that one for number two upon you. Amen. And then you tell me how you feel. I waited patiently for the Lord, mm -hmm. he inclined to me and heard my cry. Mm -hmm. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. How you feel now? Didn't he do that for you? Didn't he bring you out of some places? And why do we always think that if he brought us out of places, he ain't going to do it again? Because we have that fear, amen, glory to God, that comes through us, amen, but a fear of the Lord is our strength. Come on, let's 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 go on there. I'm, I'm trying to be restored. I'm trying my resurrection is, is through Jesus, but my rest, restoring amen, is because God has moved Jesus into my life, amen, he is the head of everything that I do, come on, I want to talk with you a little bit more, once he too moved you out of there and put you on a secure rock, what did he do, he put a new song in your, in, in my mouth, a song of praise to God, uh, how many of y'all, hey man, when y'all got out of some scenarios, y'all start singing about how good God is? I don't know about y'all, but I just know about me. Amen. Glory to God. I'll start singing. You know, I'll start talking about the goodness of God. You know, you might hear me, all my life I have been faithful. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Amen, glory to God. I sing about the goodness of God. Hallelujah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, one of those people. You might be a praiser. You might sit there in the corner and just say how God did it. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I'm one of them too. I like to go around and just praise him and started giving thanks for it. I started giving thanks for it even when the, God does things for people around me. And he mm -hmm. and and they're and they're being restored around me. I just get happy because of what he's doing. Cause I know if he did it for them, he's gonna do it for me too. And the blessings is sometimes not that I'm blessed to, to get to receive it, it's the blessing I'm able to see it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes restoration comes from seeing what God is doing to others. And you mm -hmm. already have it. I, I'm putting my trust all in him. I know which way to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And he puts a new song in my mouth. and singing praise of God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed mm -hmm. is the man who makes the Lord his trust in order to be restored in our 
restoration to happen. We got to put our trust in the Lord. We have to open up in some areas. I'm not talking about those words they roll off the mouth. Oh, I trust the Lord. I'm talking about that deep stuff that you don't tell nobody about. God knows it, but he's saying, listen, I, I need you to go out here and talk to me about it. Because mm -hmm. if you if you want me to if you want me to, to to help you out, amen, I see it right there. But I believe he also says that I stand at the door and knock. <laughs> so therefore you gotta invite him in. So come on, invite him in. Lord, you say I invited him in. Well, invite him in for the problem that you got. I ain't talking about that surface problem. I'm talking about the other ones. If we're going to be restored. We're our restoration going to come in. Let's let our, 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 our restoring come. Amen. Glory to God all the way through. There's some stuff going on. Sometimes we feel a different way. Sometimes we feel a little something. I don't know how to get there. Well, well, well let's, let us try to get you there. But you have to remember that sometimes even when you're getting restored, it is not the most best feeling in the world. You might be hurting, upset, angry, might catch an attitude, pastor might say something to make you mad, you got your lip poked out, you know, you are looking all mad, eyes all red, nose all snotty, you know, you, you, know, you, 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 you might be like that. But God's trying to tell you something. And sometimes if you can take it, you'll be better. Because if he had to scrape the residue off of you of the stuff that you have, how do you think that scraping is going to do for you? I have never seen anybody being scraped or anything being scraped, amen, that doesn't means that it doesn't, uh, pressure is not being applied. Amen, glory to God. If even even if you want a diamond, amen, it, it comes from some coal, but it comes with pressure. It takes pressure to make those jewels. Glory to God. Sometimes, some of us, it takes the pressure for us to call out on Jesus. Some of us get up in the morning and we say, thank you, Lord. I thank you. I appreciate you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. And then there's some of us, amen, glory to God, that won't even call on the name of Jesus, but as soon as we're being pressured, we start calling on him. Because sometimes we need to be pressured just to do that. Amen. I'm going back to where I'm at. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody might somebody might be mad at me at this moment. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Know, blessed is the man that, that makes his trust in the Lord. It makes, it makes the Lord his trust. Who does not turn to the proud to those who go astray after a lie you have multiplied O lord my god your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us none can compare with you i will proclaim and tell them yet they are more than can be told god has so much there is so much you can that you can't even tell everything, but you can tell all that you can. In the sacrifice and offerings, you have not delighted, but mm. you have given me an open ear. Burnt offerings and sin offerings, you have not required. Then I say, behold, I have come in the scroll of the book. It is written of me. I delight to to do your will. Oh my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. Behold. I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O oh Lord. I have not hidden your deliverance within my heart. I.e., when we're out here, we got to tell about the goodness of God. And you got to tell them about how these things are. And yes, we got to get past the sugar-coated stuff of saying how 
it is and not let them know that the steps that they're going to take aren't e are easy amen they're easier than they used to be when you're in christ but when you're not in christ it takes a little bit of scraping it takes a little bit of stuff it takes a little bit of movement it takes some stuff to go away sometimes certain people might fall away from you that you consider to be your friends in your restoration mm -hmm. They might still be your friends, but at this time, God needs them to move aside because he has to do some work within you. He wants to make you the best. If you will give it, give yourself to him, he's going to make you the best. Because when he made you, he said it was good. He just wants to bring that good part out. He wants to clean out the mess and show you the best. Isn't it funny that some people can come into a one room and you see it and say, man, this room is junky. They can go into that same room, turn some stuff around, and the next thing you know, you say, man, it's a whole new room. Don't you think that God can do not only that, but he can do it in a greater aspect and change everything about you around? It doesn't matter what you used to do. What are you doing right now? Everybody has fallen short and everybody has been a sinner, but it, but what are you doing right now? Have you made a choice in your life, amen, right now? Glory to God. Have you made a choice right now to do the things that you need to do right now? Are you, are you thinking about right now? Are you saying to yourself, I'm ready to be restored, but... Am I ready to be stored right now? Because inside of me, I got to get some stuff clean, but I can't get it clean unless I go out there and tell God I need to give you all of me. You're 99 and a half. It's not doing. You need that other little half that he needs from you. Come on, let's continue to go. Let's continue to go. Amen. Glory to God. Where am I? Where am I? Verse what? Oh, hallelujah. Verse five. Glory to God. You have multiplied your, O oh Lord God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. I can mm -hmm. proclaim and tell them, yet there are more than can be told. In sacrifice and offering, you are have not delighted, but you have given me an open ear, burnt offerings and certain sin offerings you have not required. Then I say, behold, I have come in the scroll of the book. It is written of me. I delight to you to do your will, my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the gladness of deliverance. In the great congregation, behold, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. I have not hidden my deliverance within your heart, my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. As for you, O oh Lord, you will not restrain your mercy from me. Your steadfast love and your faithfulness will ever preserve me. For evil has encompassed me beyond number. My, my iniquities have overtaken me and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head. <laughs> my heart faileth me. But please, O oh Lord, to deliver me, O oh Lord. Make haste to help me. Those, let those 
who put to shame and disappoint altogether, who seek to snatch away my life, let those be turned back and brought to dishonor, who delight in my hurt. Mm -hmm. Come on, now, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Listen, we've all been in these situations. We've all been hurt, i.e., we've all been broken. God is doing some restoration is coming. 15, let those uh, be appalled because of their shame who say to me, aha, aha, but may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Oh, I'm talking, we've been through this some stuff. You done came through and people done pointed at you, aha, aha. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continuously, God great is the Lord. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought of me. You are my help and my deliverer, do not delay, oh my God. Lord, thank you for my resurrection, for my restoration. Lord, thank you for my restoration. Lord, thank you for my restoration. We've been in our times in our lives, amen. We've been going through our struggles in our lives. But sometimes you need to understand that. So I gotta say this to you again, your restoration is coming. I need you, somebody to help me out here, amen. And I'm doing the best I can with the voice God has given me today. Amen. Does somebody say amen? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Your restoration is coming. My restoration is coming. But you know that there are, will be struggles along the way. You know that some of the old things need replacing or repair. You're going to have to put on the newness. If you were repairing a house, amen, you would have to take some stuff away and put some new stuff in. Sometimes you have to take some of the old stuff and say, I just got to replace it and put some new in it. When it comes to you, we are being repaired. Part of restoration, the word is restored. Mm -hmm. In order to be repaired, hallelujah, you're being restored. Your restoration is coming. But in order for some things to happen, it's, once again, we got to pour some of that newness on it. Do you have some of that newness to pour on there? Oh, remember, some things need to be replaced because you can't put new wine in an old wine sack. Somebody says, what did that mean? Because they know that the new wine in an old wine sack will probably leak because the new wine is going to combust and pull upon it. But you have to know about wines to do such a thing. If you poured it into a bottle that's old, it might bust because it needs that newness to expand and contract with. Amen. You know, I learned that not from the Bible, amen, but I learned that from my great aunt Mary. She a teacher, she taught me that. 
But then she showed it to me in the Bible so I have an understanding. Now I want to bring you to 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter and the 17th verse, but I, I need to read it today. Glory to God. Just for a little bit of, of things, amen. Glory to God. And then I'm going to bring you back a little bit, amen. Somebody get into 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, amen, in the 17th. And, I, and then I need somebody to do that same chapter, but stay at the 11th, amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. All right. Who's got the 17th for me? I do. Amen. Come on. Let, let, let's read. Now take your time. Okay, um, please turn your Bibles to 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, the 17th verse, and it reads as follows. Therefore, if Stop any right there. man... This stopped there, no? What did he say? <laughs> therefore. Therefore! Mm -hmm. Okay, therefore, I want to have your attention right now. Therefore, he put it in there. Therefore, go ahead, read on. Therefore, mm -hmm. if any man mm -hmm. be in Christ, he's what? Be in Christ. Oh my God. You mean to tell me in order to do some things, I'm going to have to be in somebody? Be in Christ. All right. He is a new creature. He is a what? A new creature. A new creature. So, how many of y'all are in Christ? You Amen. don't have to raise your hands. You can if you want to. Oh, mm -hmm. better yet than that, because I'm Pastor B and I'm a little different, you can say hootie hoo. <laughs> hootie hoo. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Glory to God. So if you are in Christ, amen, that means you already got the newness, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go back here now. And so you're going to have to put on some newness. Because and when you're getting repaired, something's got to be replaced. Amen. So when it's being replaced within you for your restoration, you got to have something new in there. But this Lord Jesus just said that if anybody's in Christ, you are what? A new creature. Okay, keep going. Old things uh -huh. are passed away. Okay, stop right there. So therefore, some things that have to get replaced that are old have to be gone because you got to get ready for the what? The new. The new. In order for you to get ready to the new, that means you have to be in position to receive the restoration. Mm -hmm. Come on. Behold. Stop right there. So he's <laughs> right there telling you right now, you are ready to do this. You're getting ready to do this one thing. Let's go ahead and break that down. Once once again, therefore, everybody should listen. Mm -hmm. If anyone is, a, is in Christ, he's a new creature. Amen. You're new. Got my newness on. The old, he said the old things have passed away. And then she said, behold. Meaning, pay attention again. Mm -hmm. Because what you just seen before was you just looking at what everybody else was but god's getting ready to pull back the curtain mm -hmm. go ahead behold all things are become new mm. and all things mm -hmm. are of god who halt reconciled Mm -hmm. us to himself mm -hmm. by Jesus Christ. By Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you for that. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All things have passed away. Behold, the new has come. Your restoration is coming. And for some of y'all, it's already here. Mm -mm. Well, I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> I, I I I heard I heard you in the spirit, but how do I know I, what you looking at my household? I ain't looking in your household. <laughs> you know, I'm just telling you about something. It's time and it's ready. It's been it's been bubbling. It's been waiting, and it was other things. And if anybody who knows that they're part of the Word of the Lamb Ministries, I what 
what we've been studying and staying on, that one mm -hmm. word that stays on from the beginning of this year all the way through is what? Transformation. Mm -hmm. And in order for transformation to happen, something's got to get there. But mm -hmm. because we got to a spot where the transformation is hurting, oh, come on, y'all. <laughs> where it seems like it's just a pull in every area. Mm hmm that even some of the things that you're doing, it might even have letdowns. Mm. But God's about to restore. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians. Deacon is needed. You got 2 Corinthians, the 11th, starting at the 11th, the same chapter, starting at the 11th? Yes. All right, read. Knowing, therefore, mm -hmm. the terror of the Lord. Uh huh. We persuade men, mm -hmm. but we are made manifest unto God. All right. Stop right and there. I Therefore, knowing that the fear of the Lord, we pursue others, but we, but what we are is known to God. What we are is known to God. What we are is known to God. Okay, mm -hmm. he, so you ain't hiding nothing from him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. Come on. And I trust mm -hmm. also are made manifest in your consciousness. Oh, my God. I trust. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Got to trust him. Mm -hmm. For we command, commend, mm -hmm. not ourselves against unto you but give you occasion to glory on our behalf. Mm -hmm. What? That give you occasion to what? Glory. On whose behalf? On our behalf. Oh, so that means that you're giving us a chance to do this. Hallelujah. So that you may be able to <laughs> answer those who boast. <clears throat> that you may be not commending ourselves again to you, but giving you cause to boast about us. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So that means people are looking at you to talk about while wow, that restoration has came. Mm. Look at look at look at look at the evangelist over there and <laughs> how, how she come out of that thing. How did she get out of that? I know we going through the same things. Mm. I know that she ain't got no more than me. Mm -hmm. I know that this has happened, but you don't see, as they say, what they don't see is you're on your knees, <laughs> mm -hmm. is the God in me. Amen. They don't see all that. Mm -mm. They don't see you pray. They don't see those things. They only see what they see on the outside, but don't know the restoration of what God is doing in you. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Amen. Let's 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 go. Let's go a little bit. That ye may have somewhat to answer them mm. which glory in appearance and mm -hmm. not in heart. Mm. What? And not they, in heart. So they they those those they may answer those who boast about outward appearances. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And they're not about what is in the heart. Mm -hmm. Some people look at the outside. And they see something. You can put a collar on and put a shirt on. You can get it from anywhere. Call mm. yourself a preacher and preach the wrong word. Mm. And people will think that you're anointed mm. when you're only really using the gift that God gave you because gifts are free. Mm. But your gifts is allowed to be some people to hell. So then it comes that he has to send some people or some individuals around to restore the people from where you had already messed them up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what happens sometimes, thank you, Holy Ghost, is that some people desire or say to themselves, I don't like the teaching, so they leave. Only because the teaching is telling them about something that they're doing that is wrong. Mm -hmm. 
and people don't like to get their hands spanked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the the ministers are, are teaching wrong. Mm. But if you are a man or a woman of God and you've been called to preach the word of God, you have more than just yourself to answer for. You are responsible for the sheep that he has lent you. They're not given to you. They belong to Jesus. But he lent it to you because he wanted you to teach them some things. Oh, come on. All right, come on. I'm, I'm going to try not to in interrupt you anymore. Well, whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God. Mm -hmm. Or whether we be soft. Sober. Mm. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it is for your cause. For the love of Christ constraineth us because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we are all dead. Mm -hmm. And that he died for all. Mm -hmm. That they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Talking about Jesus, y'all. Mm -hmm. Whether henceforth know we no man after the flesh, mm -hmm. yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth Know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, yes, he is a new creature. She said that before, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Old things are passed away. What things? Old. Okay, come on now. I'm trying to get this into your mind and your spirit now. Mm -hmm. Keep Old going. Are passed away. Behold. Behold. All things become new. Mm-hmm. And all things are of God. Mm-hmm. All things of who? Of God. Okay, so therefore, if you're a new creature and all things of you, that means that resurre resurrection of Jesus is coming, but that restoration of you is already in there because Jesus already restored you. Keep going. All things of God who hath mm. reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. By who? <laughs> by Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. And hath given to us the mm -hmm. ministry of reconciliation. What? Of reconciliation. What? Of reconciliation. What? Of reconciliation. All right. And what kind of reconciliation is that? It's a what? Ministry. It's a what? Ministry. Okay, so therefore, the ministry of reconciliation, mm -hmm. or meaning restoring, reading, mm -hmm. putting together, mm -hmm. amen, glory to God, that means there's something there for us. So this one part is in there to do some things. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. To wit, that God was in Christ, mm -hmm. reconciling the world mm -hmm. unto himself. My God. Not inputting mm -hmm. their trespasses unto them mm -hmm. and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Mm -mm -mm. Now then we are ambassadors for yes. Christ. As though Christ did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be reconciled to God. For he has made... <clears throat> For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. May God have a blessing to that word. Amen. Glory to God. So to be reconciled, and let's see if we can slide some other words in there, being repaired and restored mm -hmm. and our restoration to happen. We have to be that new creature. In order to be that new creature, 
in Christ to receive these things, we have to be prepared for it. Amen. Mm-hmm. And we have to be prepared for it. That means we have to take the steps to say, are you ready for it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some of the times we've been we've been sitting here for a while, amen, wanting this to happen, but we just haven't been ready for it. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been on, as I said, I think I was talking to Avengers Outlaw and a few others. I was talking about we've been on a holding pattern. For mm-hmm. way too long, Amen. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. But I, but I seen him. Hallelujah. Tell us it's time for us to go mm-hmm. ahead. So therefore, we about to go. Now mm-hmm. I'm sorry for those who are who are not might be jet lag. <laughs> Amen. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But uh, we know that God's moving, and sometimes what He moves is uh, supersonically. Mm-hmm. Amen, which means it's going to be fast and sometimes it's going to take some time. But when we are all on one accord, mm-hmm. when we all start to pray in the same way, mm-hmm. all these things will start to move together. And Jesus says, I rec- I'm reconciling each and every one of you together. Yes. And when we start to do that, he takes all of our problems that we have and say, look, I'm putting all the common things together for you because I know that if you move those things in Christ, you're going to not only move forward, but you're about to drive like never before. And the world is clear. Mm. Jesus. You're about to be restored. Mm. Come on, I'm about to close now I know we have communion coming but thank you Lord thank you Father you're being restored hallelujah Amos the ninth chapter the 14th verse amen glory to God hallelujah somebody say amen amen Amen. Glory to God. God is blessing you and he wants to restore you. I want to talk to you. Those are, I want to talk to y'all. Amen. Glory to God. I need you to make sure that y'all have your focus on me today. Amen. Glory to God. If you don't have focus on it, you're going to lose it. You're going to miss out on this. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Minister Mitchell's on the line. Amen. God bless him. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're being restored today. Your restoration for some of you is coming, but for a lot of you is already here. There's some stuff that you had up. Oh, glory to God. Amos, the ninth chapter, 14th verse, says mm-hmm. this. I will re- I'm reading from the English Standard Version. Now. I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel. It's been a struggle to make the ends meet, y'all. It's been hard to try to make it by week by week. It's tough, even in the gas prices. You have to watch your water and electric and all the other things that are necessary. And then nowadays, what we used to think of as a luxury, the things that we need is a necessity. There used to be a time when you didn't care about no Wi-Fi, but now you need it more than ever. All these things have been put upon us, amen. The prices of homes have skyrocketed and so many things have come into play. Your food is more expensive, amen. Mm-hmm. Your medicine is costing more.
there's so many things out there and not to forget that all the things that you see in the world is becoming more negative and you're starting to see less positive things out there and people are gravitating toward all of those unpositive things and trying and then when you start to talk about Christ they run away but listen I will restore the fortunes of my people and they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them Amos was talking about some things that were happening there, but I'm talking to you now that there's some areas that have been decapitated. There's some areas that have been messed up, amen. That might even be inside. It might even be with people, amen, that God's getting ready to restore. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine, and they shall make gardens and eat their fruit. What used to be not well, devastatingly wrong, maybe even upset at some times, maybe might be an area in which you try to get in, but the door seemed to be closed. God is getting ready to not only open that door, but he says that when you walk into it, it's going to be able to be yielding to you. Oh, come on, I'm talking to somebody. You have to make up your mind, though, that I just can't walk in there and have God second. You've got to put him first. He's got to be in every single thing. When you... Go out there and you say to yourself, I, literally, if you say, I'm going to plant me a garden, pray over the seeds, pray over the dirt, pray over every single thing that there is because he's getting ready to do this for you. Even in the midst of some stuff, in the midst of issues, in the midst of problems, even when others don't care, you're going to see even family members acting differently. But remember, God is going to restore some things. And sometimes they act differently. They act up almost seeming like it's just disrespectful. Oh, come on, I'm trying to help somebody. I want you to know that that's not them. Mm. It is the enemy trying in his last dis efforts <laughs> to try to stop what mm. you already know is getting ready to happen. Mm. And how do you know it's getting ready to happen? Come on, somebody read with me. I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel and mm. they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them and they shall plant vineyards and drink their wine and they shall make gardens and eat their fruit. God is getting ready to do something. My restoration is coming. Are you ready to still do the work? You have to know that even in the midst of all that you're going through, you can't stop working. You could be going through some problems right now, but you can't stop working. You could say, I'm not going to do this. You got because the enemy sometimes makes it seem like it's easier for me to not do that. Then you got to say, No, I got to do this. It's easier for me not to come on this day, but God, I, I got to do this. In order for me to break that cycle that keeps to be happening, amen, I got to do this. And sometimes even when we're still in the midst of doing it, amen, glory to God, that cycle might still come. Mm -hmm. But you still got to press through and say doing it. He said, if I give it to you again, will you break it, fall apart? Would you say, what I'm doing is not working, so I might as well just go this way? No. Stay on the path. 
I'm going to leave this before you before we go ahead and go into a communion. If you were to point to yourself and say, my resurrection is in Jesus Christ. I'm being restored and renewed. My restoration is here. It is already here. I need you to understand something. For some of us to be restored, we have to let go of some stuff. And sometimes you're going to have to do the work before you get restored. What do I mean? All the things that Job went through. And he got restored. But there's one little piece that a lot of people forget to talk about. Job, the 42nd chapter, and the 10th verse. In the English Standard Version, it says this. And the Lord restored the fortune of Job mm -hmm. when he had prayed for his friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Even though they had talked to him and said some wrong things, he some things were connected because they might have hurt you. Hmm. I heard you. Thank you for praying for me. Because they might have hurt you. Because they might have scarred your heart that it might be so painful that every time you think about it, it might cause a tear to come to your eyes. But the Lord restored the fortune of Job when he prayed for his friends. And then it says, and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Somebody say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Somebody say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready to be restored. Mm, ready I'm to ready restored. to be restored. Mm. I already know that in there, Father God, I just need to open up myself and say, I'm ready to be restored because where I was before, I was holding myself up. Mm. But I'm ready to be restored in you. You are everything, mm -hmm. everything. I know that some of us on the line are still waiting to be for our restoration to happen. I know that in some areas, and I can feel it, is already moving. I need you to keep your patient level. I need you to understand that it's not just your time. But I need you to stay in Christ. I need you to pray hard. I need you to give a shout I need you to give a song. Mm. I need you to understand that you're that new creature because the enemy's trying to do every single thing it can to tell you what you not. Mm. Trying to hurt you in different ways, trying to get you from turning back. And why would he spend so much of an effort to try to get you into a situation if it wasn't for the fact that he knew how dangerous you are. Come on. Somebody tell somebody else on this line that I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Uh, I done heard one, but I ain't, hear, I ain't hearing everybody. So maybe not everybody not, don't realize that they might be I am a child of God. Amen. I am a child of God. 
Amen. We a child of God. Mm -hmm. And if That's God true. has already said so, then I it am, is. I am it's already done. It's so, all that's right. Go ahead and say that again, mm -hmm. Evangelist. It's already done. It's, it's already, already done. done. Mm -hmm. So come on, y'all. Are being restored. You have already been there. You just needed to see where the key was. Oh. <laughs> mm. Hallelujah. God has already said the door is here. I gave you the key, but because you could, he was trying to blind you from seeing it. Amen. All, all you had to do was look over there. He said, look to the right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Glory to God. I'm seeing in my mind that the throne with so many colors and so much power. And on the right hand says Jesus, I advocate. And he's already told that he paid for it all. If there's anyone who's desiring to be saved, they have done all that they can. They have moved in their directions. I have played my last little fiddle. If you were at the casino, you would be on your last quarter. Mm -hmm. And you'd have put your quarter in and it still didn't equal up. Mm -hmm. Because all that ain't going to save you. But the word of God the living word, the active word, the word that is sharper than any double-edged sword, this word that will divide the joint and the marrow, the soul and the spirit, the thing that will change who you are, not in a blink of an eye, but in a time that you'll be able to see. Mm -hmm just like many and I'll say this because who I'm telling you the truth for me it was a time when I couldn't see Christ around me and there's a time now that I just don't know what it would be like to have him not with me the love that has been poured on me by the Lord Jesus Christ. Who, when I got an understanding, let me know that even when I wasn't with him, he was with me. If you're wanting to be saved, he said, I've tried this for myself. Understand, if you're desiring to be saved, would you come? Would you come, y'all? Mm -hmm. Would you come? I got to let you know, I can't save you. No individual here can save you. Jesus can save you. Mm -hmm. All we can do is walk you to the door, give you the information, but the only person that's going to have to step through it is you. Mm -hmm. But I can guarantee that if you make that choice, you won't regret it for the rest of your life. It would change you in ways you will never know. Would you come? Would you come? Would you come? There are some digging and digging us. Evangelists and evangelists, sisters and brothers, who have dropped the ball, amen. Mm -hmm. We've all done it. we all messed up somewhere. I know I have. So we come and ask those that have dropped the ball, amen, 
it's time to pick it up again. But in order to pick it up, let us pray. Why don't you pray with me? Most heavenly and kind Father, we come before you as humble as we know how. We repent for every single thing that we have done, said, did, thought, or even dreamed. Lord, we ask that we be able to try you one more time. We don't ask for the same anointing, Lord, because it did not hold us. We ask for the new anointing to be that new creature. So, Lord, we're asking, Father God, that you will overflow in us, Father. And that whatever we can do, Father, you will strengthen us in your word. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer with us, amen, welcome back, amen, glory to God. But I do have to give you this warning, y'all. Understand this. If, hallelujah, glory to the name of Jesus, you prayed that prayer, don't go back to do the things that you were doing. Amen. Because you're going to make it more, even more worse when you try to try it again. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. There's some of us, amen, who need a church home. We've been looking for a church home all around. Amen, glory to God. Some of us have done that. And we've been in different places. You know, and every pastor tell you that they believe that where, where you are is, is, is a good place to be in. I actually say the same thing. Amen, I believe this is a very good place to be. But I also believe this. I believe that every place that you desire to be, you should always find out what they believe in. For us, amen, it's on our website, <laughs> www.wordofthelamb.org. And if you go on our site, you'll see a page of what we believe in. And these are the things that we believe in. I believe that you should do that for every church you desire to be with. And if you believe what we believe, or if you have read it and said, I believe that, and you desire to have a church home, the doors of the church are open, and you can always come. You can always come. You can always come. <coughs> Lord, there's been, if you're on our conference line, you could say, I, I desire to be saved. I, I desire the church home. If you're on our Facebook page, 1-302-202-1110, use conference code 940792 and say, I desire to be saved or I'm desiring church home. If you come across this message across seas and or different areas or different zones, amen, or even in the midst of wherever you may be, you can always email us at wordofthelamb at outlook.com and tell me, Pastor B, we desire to be saved and desire <laughs> for church home. I just asked you if I, that you would give us your telephone number. Amen. It's a good time to reach you. And I, I and one of the one of our family members here, our church family members, we will get in contact with you. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a time when some of us, amen, have had church homes, but we've been away from them for a while. Then what happens then, amen, is that we, you know, you come to fellowship and amen, glory to God. What we would like to do is keep you on watch. That means we will watch out for your soul. We'll watch out for the things you get a chance to participate and be around us. Amen. Until you decide to go back to your church home or you desire to make this your church home. Amen. There's been many who have been on watch with us and 
there are some here right now, hallelujah, who have made this their permanent home. If you desire to be on watch, and if you're on Zoom, just say so. If you're on a conference line, say so. And if you're on Zoom, I mean on, on, our, on Facebook, just call 1-302-202-1110. Use conference code 940-792. I'm sure that a Sister Morales has put it out there. And that way, you'll be all set. Amen. Glory to God. Now, Father, I if you're desiring prayer, we will be praying for you after service. Amen. Just hold on. But today is a little different because we have communion. And so therefore, we're going to be doing communion. So I'm going to be asking for all those around us to prepare themselves for communion. And here's how communion goes for us. Even if you do not have communion cups, but if you have bread, if you got crackers, if you got uh, juice or whatever, we're going to be praying for that as well. Amen. So you're more than welcome to take communion with us. Amen. I have to let you know that communion is a very serious act. Amen. Glory to God. It's not just a, it's not just a something that you do, but it is in remembrance of Jesus Christ and your commitment that you're making to him as 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 to Christ. Amen. Glory to God. And in remembering of how, what he has shed for you. Amen. So that you would have an opportunity to know God for yourself. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. So this is how communion works for us, amen. We're going to get ourselves prepared for communion. So Pastor B is going to do some things, hang out with us. We're going to do some things, amen, glory to God, hallelujah. I would like, amen, glory to God, if I could have, hallelujah, the St. Saint, Saint John's, the second uh, th verse, chapter 13, Verse 2 through 17, if you could read that evangelist outlaw. Amen. Saint, all right. And if you could read Deaconess Anita, the Lord's Supper, amen. That's 1 Corinthians 23 through 34. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you... Oh, wonderful evangelists would pray over the bread and the wine or the juice, I like to call it, because some of y'all don't need to be drinking no wine. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Deacon Steve, I need you to... to to pray over the people. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to be doing Hallelujah, Luke 22. Amen. Glory to God. And Hallelujah. How many of y'all have communion cups? Amen. If y'all have them, Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For those that don't have it, but you have them crackers and stuff like that. Hey, man, come on. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But this is our little little cup right here. Amen. We have a little piece right here as you lift up and stuff of that nature. You lift up the little flap first and get the cracker. Then you get the juice. Okay, you try it the other way. It's going to be kind of rough. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. Now, here's the part. That I gotta tell you, you've got to listen to the instructions. How many of y'all know to listen to the instructions? Amen. All right, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right. When we do communion, amen, we also would like to tell anybody that you might have had an art with or something of that nature, meaning something that you had wrong that you want to say, I'm sorry to. Amen. Glory to God. I know that you might have to text them, amen. You might have to call them. 
amen to do that but do do pass to be a favor if you you got you got somebody and you gotta say i'm sorry to you could text them you could say some stuff to them but make sure you make sure you come back don't get into a long conversation amen just say i'll talk to you after after service you get caught up in it you're gonna miss everything else amen glory to god that's the you don't want the, the enemy can do that for you he mess you up so you want to be able to do those things if you got a long list after you finish your lift, you come see Pastor B and we'll have a communion at a different time. Because, amen, you're going to have a lot to do. Amen. Glory to God. If you got a list and you start writing down them names and you be like, well, I'm still writing and you run out of ink, that means that means you got some issues you need to do, talk to some people about. Amen. You need to get that done straight. Amen. But if you have uh, done those things, amen, you got it all right. It's good. Now, it's 1241 by my clock. Do y'all got that? Amen. All right. All right. I got 1242 actually. Amen. Glory to God. So at 1240, at 1244, amen. Glory to God. We're going to start communion. Amen. All right. I'm looking for my 1244. I, uh, if if Vengeance Morales is going to give me a thumbs up, then we're going to get started. Amen. <laughs> 1244. All right. Amen. Glory to God. No. No. I see some of y'all a little over there. Look like y'all got some writing going on. So y'all, but you know, Amen. Glory to God. I hope I hope that's writing the notes and not the people. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Now I'm serious now. Now if you go, if you can't do it, don't take communion. If you gotta take care of too many people, you can't. You know. But if you gotta say I'm sorry, it's sometimes good to just to say that I'm sorry, even if oh, they made you I'm mad. So sorry. Amen. Yeah. I'm sorry. And if I. If I said something to you, I'm going to say it right now. If I said something to you and made you mad, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. If I didn't pick you up one day, amen, when I was supposed to, I'm sorry. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Now, if I took your French fries, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, amen. Glory to God. What, Whatever it is, sometimes you got to do that. You don't know. Them sometimes the most silliest things got some people all caught up. Come on now. Like I know somebody who was mad with their brother because they hit him in the head with a wagon, mm, mm, mm. and they couldn't re they couldn't forgive him. Mm. That was my mama, <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Dave. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am, am I telling the truth? <laughs> All right then, <laughs> Amen. But that's how it is. Sometimes mm. it's little things like that. You so you got to be careful. So I'm sorry. You know, you don't know. Yeah, you know, no, amen. Glory to God. Amen. All right, are we, we okay? All right, we've got the thumbs up, amen. Glory to God. We're going to have our first reading, amen, by Evangelist uh, Outlaw, amen. Glory to God in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I'll be reading, <clears throat> excuse me, this morning from the King James Version, the book of John, amen. Chapter 13, starting at verse 2, all the way through verse 17. And it reads as follows. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas in the cup, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father has given all things into his hands, and that he was come from God and went to God. He risen from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and gritted himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel within. He was gritted. Then comes to him through Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, thou not wash my feet? Then come, he said to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, does thou wash my feet? Mm -hmm. I said it twice because that's something very important mm. in this particular chapter. That's right. Because we wash from the top of the head to the soles of our feet. Jesus answered and said unto him, what I do thou knowest not, but thou shalt know hereafter. 
Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast not part with me. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said unto him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, but is clean ever with, and ye are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him. Therefore said he, ye are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garment and was set down again, he said unto him, said unto them, know ye what I have done to you. You call me master and Lord, and yea, say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and master, have washed your feet, he also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happily are ye if he do them. Amen. Amen. That was the reading of John chapter 13, verses 2 to 17. May the Lord add a reading to the word. Amen. Amen. Deaconess Anita. Amen. I'll be reading 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 through 34, the NIV version. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So then, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. That is why many among you are weak and sick, and a number of you have fallen asleep. But if we were more discerning with regard to ourselves, we would not come under such judgment. Nevertheless, when we are judged in this way by the Lord, we are being disciplined so that we will not be finally condemned with the world. So then my brothers and sisters, when you gather to eat, you should drink all, you should all eat together. Anyone who is hungry should eat something at home. So when you meet together, it may not result in judgment. And when I come, I will give further directions. That is the reading of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 through 34. Make the Lord had a blessing to the reading. Amen. You're now unmuted. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm reading from uh, Luke. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm reading from the 17th through the 20th verse. Amen. Luke 22, 17 through 20, King Ver James Version. And he took the cup and he gave thanks. Father, we thank you for this cup. Amen. Glory to God. But, hallelujah. We're going to ask 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to ask Evangelist Lady Sunshine to bless these. Amen. Before we go any further. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Has spotlighted your video for everyone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for being our bread and our daily bread. We thank yes. you for the covenant of this wine, Father God. We thank you for having us do this in remembrance of the sacrifice that you paid in full to reconcile us back to the Father. Lord, we ask you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, individually and corporately, and including our forefathers before us, that you would forgive us of all sin and unrighteousness and our forefathers before us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, that the fruit that we give you today is repentance. We ask you that you wash us in the blood and wash us white as snow, cleanse us with your word. And we thank you for you being the word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And this is what he said, amen, in Luke 22 and 17. And he took the cup and gave thanks. And he said, take this and divide it among yourselves. For he said, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took the bread and he gave thanks and he break it. Father, we thank you for this bread. Hallelujah. And he said to them, this is my body, which is given to them. Do this in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it, the body of Christ. In a likewise manner. Also eat the cup after supper saying, this is the cup, the New Testament uh, in my blood, which is shed for you. Drink ye all of it, the blood of Christ. And they said that after they drunk the wine and they ate the bread, that they left singing a song. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood from San Mane. Oh, the blood. Jesus' blood. Oh, the blood from Sunday. Oh, the blood. Jesus' blood. Oh, the blood of Sunday. Oh, the blood come Sunday. Hallelujah. Father, we come to you this evening. To say thank you. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to come together and worship you this Sunday. We thank you for allowing us hmm, to be with you, Lord. May you watch over us and be with us, Lord. May you cover us in many ways, Father. We love you. And we thank you. Thank us for, for being here. And we thank you for watching over us. Thank you, Lord. May you continue to be with us and love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen to God. God glory. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If there's anyone on the lines, amen, who's desiring prayer, amen, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. If you're on our Facebook page, you can call 1302-202-1110, use conference code 940792. I see Evangelist Morales already has it out there, amen. Mm -hmm. But, you know, amen, glory to God. If you're on our conference line and you want prayer, just say, I do. If you're on Zoom and you're in need of prayer, just say, I do. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What we do is, amen, if you desire even just to say hello to us and you're on Facebook, please call that number and say hello. Amen. Glory to God. If you're 
desiring prayer, please come on over and say hello. For those of them on Facebook, amen. God bless you. God bless you and God bless you. And we're going to truly let you go. For those who are needing prayer and those who are on the other lines, please hold on. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus.